Light is on for the Nissan Stakes. They're racing now. Celeste missed it about a length and a half over on the inside. Terrare won the jump away and led from Codger Tate into Zero early. Primacy's hunting across from a wide barrier. He's in search for the lead. Gets it without much trouble. Fero up to fourth and Carson Cash was out wider on the track with Station Hand as they run into that first bend. Celeste's been able to get off the inside but still back to the tail of the field uh, with Osmark with it when they settle down and also Kabora. About 1,200 to go and Station Hand, a stable mate of Primus, has been able to work around to the lead. Fero was now second and on the inside Primacy. Tarawe was fourth, one off the rail. Then came Cogitator. Zuro was able to sneak up on the inside. Then Spring Hill Lad and Burst was three wide. One and a half lengths further back in the field. Then as they run up to the home turn, go Story. Over on the inside was Corndale as they approached the bend. Valdezers trapped out three wide. Then Carson's Cash and Deposition. Excited Angels three and four deep. They were followed by Cabora, Telesto, well back with Italian Saint and Osmart last to fall. The big field come to the turn, 600 metres to go on the Nissan Stakes. And Station Hands in front, a surprising leader. Led from Ferro and Primacy, then Azuro in need of a run. Over on the outside was Terrare, then Spring Hill had Cogitate four wide. Valdezere runs on, Ghost Story the widest runner, Telesto sneaking up on the rails. Then Italian Saint and Burst looking for a run from Excited Angel. Many chances, 300 to go, Ferro went to the front. Primacy driving up on the inside, then Terrare. Telesto late's going to challenge. Primacy got to the front from Ferro. Telesto is flashing home on the inside. Primacy in front, Telesto trying hard with Excited Angel and Ferro, but Primacy, Primacy wins and beat Excited Angel and Ferro. Telesto didn't have a lot of luck. Cabora flashing home out wide. Then Corndale, Terrare and Valdezere, Azuro station hand. Cogitate didn't run the trip from Spring Hill out in deposition, Osmart. Well back burst and ghost story, and Carson's cash was back at the rear. Beautifully ridden, Primacy, and gives David Hayes back-to-back Nissan -back. Stakes. He won it last year with Planet Ruler, and now it's got up with Primacy today. Big he effort with the weight, 56 kilos, barrier 17. Rodney Griffiths, the winning jockey, 21.50 and $7 will be the dividend for Primacy. Excited Angel was well back, and as customary, has run on hard late. And it's in the photo with Fero being a bit firmer. He would really appreciate this track. It's drying out all day today and I've ran 137.2. But he had a beautiful run. He was the first horse to begin. He went to the front, led them for about 100 metres. Then the stable mate station hand took over and he was able to get a lovely rest in the race. And when they straighten up, I could notice him uh, inside the 400 just angling for a run. And when it came, he certainly accelerated like the great horse he is. Very good sprinter. Today's prize money just under 200,000 and Primacy had won 654,000 prior to today. He's been a very good horse at Flemington. He won the new market earlier this year. Yeah, there's the replay here where he's, where he's just getting the split. Just going to dive through inside Ferro. Terrari's on the outside. Ferro there and Primacy, he's got through now. Got that good sp split. And right on the outside here, a one from the outside and a golden green is Excited Angel getting home very well. She's a great little mare. She always gives him her best. With all the honours with Primacy, big strong horse. There's Telesto in the pink. He's sort of run out of room here. You notice here he's got no room to keep going. He might have nearly won. It'll be interesting to see the head-on of that later on. Here it is here. Here's the head-on there. You can see Primacy's the one with the grey going to the front. In the pink, one off the fence at this stage is Telesto with the blinkers on. He'll get around station hand. He'll go back to the fence here. And I might think he's going to get a run, but the run's not quite there. Trying here, he's had to stop riding him, Shane Dye here, and he just hasn't got room. Now he gets room right on the line, but he might have been very unlucky. What a great riding achievement for Rod Griffiths, the winner of Primacy, and John Letts has caught up with a winning jockey. Very excited, Rod Griffiths down here. Rod, one of your biggest wins? Yes, John. Yes, you, very good. You drew a bad barrier, you drew out in 16 or 17, and uh, you were telling me you had a lovely run throughout? Yeah, I just went to the front. Fired station hand, had the run of the race. It's good to sleep once. Yeah, and it's nice to win over the Cup Carnival too, Rod. Right? Yeah, wrong. I've had a terrible carnival and I, I never stopped whinging all week. <laughs> well, that might be, that's the old saying, isn't it? Whinge and win? That's right. <laughs> so it was a great ride, Rod, right? and it's a good little horse promise. He was a little bit unlucky here the other day. Yeah, he just struggles to get the mile, but, uh, you know, he showed his class horse. Yeah, good luck to you, Rod. Thanks, John.